Hi guys, back to Langji Mathematics. Okay, here I'll be showing you FX570EX, okay, on how to solve your general form, okay, your quadratic equations, general form. Okay, so the standard way of, I'll uh, just introduce a bit on this new Changge Changge calculator, okay, as you can see in my review, I already say that this is the latest one, okay, latest one where the, the, the function inside is a bit chunky, so let me show you a few very chunky things. Huh? Okay, of course, I'm not showing you how to use it, just want to show you the inner program, okay, the system inside. Okay, so when you press on, right, okay, when you press on, okay, you press menu. So instead of having those words like EQN, okay, you have your uh, lot, lah, okay, you see. So if I see you talk about this uh, design, you see when you press mode, right, you see like, QN, STAT, COMP, all these complex matrix vector, a lot of things, right? Okay, so when we come to this thing, instead of words, uh, it's in graphics, okay? It's in pictures. Now, so uh, I'm not sure about whether this is like better for you. It looks like cooler, but I'm not sure. Because for me, right, um, the function over here is like, whoa, it's like a lot. Okay, so you can just go around, and after that, they add in more things already. Add in more things as in, you see, instead of pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to enter into the specific world, right? Okay, so you notice there is alphabets now. Can you see alphabets? Okay, so now, instead of pressing the 5, pressing your EQN number 3 there, right, in your previous, okay, the older version of calculator. So now, uh, okay, let me do it one more time. So you press menu. Okay, I'm showing you how to enter into equations. Huh? So you go down, down, down. Okay, sorry, it's over here. Can you see x, y equals zero? Okay, this is like the graphic version of it. So there's an A there, right? So the problem is how you press A. Okay, how you press A is, nah. so can you see there is an A button here, which is red color. You press alpha, then you press this symbol. Can you see the A? So you press it, then you enter into simultaneous, okay, simultaneous equation simultaneous equation and polynomial so you will press number two to enter into polynomial so you press it then it goes into degree like your first version of calculator which is this okay there's a degree that i just want to show you, you see so equation one uh, so you see can you see there's a degree you press two right so same thing you press two here so you press two top uh, so you press two right it automatically go into your general form state. So now, the standard way of explaining it, so you have your x square, you have your x, which is power 1, then you have your x without, okay, without the x there, which is x power 0, lah, okay, that one's like extra. Then you have your a, your b, okay, your c, so you go back to your case number 1, the standard way, get out your, your a, b, c, okay, get out all your a, b, c, so x squared is there already, your x is there already, your without x is there already, so you need your numbers. So when you get, get your numbers right, so you get your 1, you get your plus 1, you get your minus 12, so I put it here, 1, 1, negative 12. So answer, answer, but why is that to answer? Okay, go back to this thing, then you know already. Uh. So a, uh, your a, which is which is the first one, uh, so you press number 1, uh, there. there's a number 1 there, so 1 equal. So 1 equal again, then your C minus 12. So you press it. So when you press it, press equal one more time, then you get X1 again. So it is standard X1. Then you press equal. Then you get X2, negative 4. So now, again, I have to say, uh, the suppose the correct way to handle modern mathematics general form, right, is to use a method called, um, what's, it, what's it called again? Try and error method, where there is an X there. Okay, I'm not doing that because I'm showing you how to use a calculator to hack backwards. So we are hacking it backwards because the supposed correct way, right? Okay, the X way, uh, we do like this thing, go into the X way, which is try error method. Then we go into the final answer. But now what we do is we press calculator, work backwards. Uh, so work backwards. So you get this answer ready. You go backwards. How you do it? Take that 3 plus 3, uh, you move it over, you get X minus 3. Okay, so you get your minus 4, move it over, you get x plus 4. Okay, so you get it, you get it, done. Okay, so that's case number 1. Let's get into, get into another harder case. Okay, so let's recap it one more time. Huh? Recap it one more time. So, menu, okay, you get A, right? So, alpha, A. Then polynomial, press number 2, and select 2, okay, enter degree 2. So, the standard ABC, I'll just write it out so you can see it. So Y square is there, Y is there, without Y is there. So your A, your B, your C, so I put here A, your B, 
You see, I put it there nicely already. You'll see it's 35. So the 35, you can just put 35 now without the plus. Okay, so let's insert my 6, negative 29, and 35. 6, negative 29, and 35. So I insert it. Oops. 5 over 2. So y equals to 5 over 2. Just be extra careful. Huh? Because here is like default into x, right? So don't accidentally put x here. You have to follow the unknowns. Huh? So you press equal again. You get y equals to 7 over 3. Uh, then you put brackets. Brackets equals to 0. And now, how you handle it backwards? Always select your divide. Bring it over. You get times, right? So 2y. Bring the plus 5 over. You get minus 5. So always select the divide first. Huh? So divide. Okay, divide. You bring here. You get times. That's why you get 3y. Lah. Then plus 7. You get minus 7. Okay. So after you get this one. So complete. Okay, that's the, that's the whole thing. And finally, okay, finally, okay, you come into this one, okay, this one. So what you have to do? So, I'll be stating over here, okay, one more time. Huh? So, mode, okay, equation, alpha A, then polynomial, press 2, and then what is your first one? Okay, first one is what? The first one is 3. The next one, B, uh, minus 10, and then you have your minus 8. So you press equal, you get x equals to 4. So x equals to 4, equal again. x equals to negative 2 over 3, and I insert the negative to the top. Uh, so that will be easier for students to handle, lah, okay? So you bring the x, okay? You have to work backwards, huh? so you bring the 4 over. You get x minus 4, as I explained on the other side. Bring the 3 over. Bring the minus 2 over, plus 2, okay? Done. Done. Okay, so just a quick one. Uh, make sure all the circle, circle thing, the arrows, everything, don't do it. Okay, because that will be no marks. Your teacher might say, hey, why, why there's extra things there? And so do, don't do that because I'm explaining. That's why I put a circle and the arrow there. So suppose that you have your x equals 4, x equals negative 2 over 3, and the brackets answer everything. So the circle and the arrow, please don't write it. Lah. Okay, so now how you convert it back into the normal state. So what you do is you press menu. So just go back to, you see, just want to show you, uh, okay? So you go back to this plus minus time divide, can you see that? It stated 1, right? Uh, so you press 1. Uh, then you complete back into your normal calculator state. Okay? So that's all about it on how to use your FX570EX to hack backwards on your general form, your quadratic equations. So 